On 5th July, Chinese President Xi Jinping appealed to Russia, India and other members of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization to cooperate with each other in order to prevent foreign powers from destabilizing their countries by inciting colored revolutions. They emerged in Eastern Europe in the early 2000s and later spread to the Middle East and Asia. They involved large-scale street protests demanding free elections, regime change and the removal of authoritarian leaders. Protesters often adopt specific colors to symbolize their movements. Even the 2019 protests in Hong Kong were referred to as color revolutions. Critics, including Moscow and Beijing, argue that these revolutions are orchestrated by the United States and its Western allies to destabilize regimes and pursue their own geopolitical interests rather than promoting genuine democracy. Let's take a look at the better known color revolutions. The Orange Revolution was a series of protests in Ukraine from late 2004 to early 2005. It all started because people believed that the country's presidential election was rigged in favor of Viktor Yanukovych, who had Moscow's support. The election commission declared him the winner, but many international and local observers disagreed. Protesters, wearing orange as a symbol of their cause, hit the streets all across Ukraine. They demanded a fair election and refused to accept the declared results. Eventually, the courts annulled the election and ordered a new one. But Victor won the revote, bringing an end to the movement. The Tulip Revolution, also known as the First Kyrgyz Revolution, occurred in early 2005. It started after primary elections were criticized for being flawed and fraudulent. Protests erupted, demanding the ouster of President Askar Akhaev, who had been in power since 1990. In the face of mounting pressure, Akhaev eventually fled the country with his family finding refuge in Russia. The Jasmine Revolution took place in Tunisia from December 2010 to January 2011. It was a popular uprising against corruption, unemployment and limited political freedoms. Triggered by a young vendor's self-immolation, the movement spread across the country. The term Jasmine Revolution was coined by Western media referring to Tunisia's national flower. President Zine El Abedin Ben Ali was ousted and it inspired similar movements in other countries across North Africa and the Middle East known as the Arab Spring.